Woods, you're gonna turn the ball over. Having that player, and the only thing I think that can sort of make up for that is having a group, maybe three, upperclassmen. <laughs> UConn had their 98 game home winning streak snapped by Baylor. That's good for Agnew. One for two at the line there. Agnew on the dribble. Gets in deep and one. She's had her hands in the way. That is indeed a foul. Agnew to the basket. And there's the potential on the. Here's Agnew. The senior pulls up. Down, Jalen Agnew. Agnew, guarded by Barnes. Turnaround from the elbow. Wow. <laughs> She keeps it away from the smaller player. Agnew on the drive. Bid. Agnew for three. Got that one. The cool to start the second half. That was a good take, though. There's got to be more of that for the Wildcats. Agnew left wide open and makes him pay. <laughs> a little bit here in the second quarter. Agnew, another three. That one's good. Six percent from three. Agnew. He said stars close, but you got to get there. And your complimentary players have to support. Agnew. Now Creighton, a chance to take the lead for the first time in a long time. Agnew to the basket. Scores! And off Agnew. Straight on three, bang, Jalen Agnew. Started in 20 of the 24 games she's played this year. Jalen Agnew with another three. Offensive principles that work so well early in this game. Agnew seems to have her scoring touch back to the basket. And
using the screen. On the pick and roll, it's Parham. Nice only turn it over 11 times per game. at seventh fewest in all of women's college basketball. Agnew with the chance, too, to become the first Blue Jay to average 20 points in a season in 30 years. And there's a three from the left side. <laughs> Seagrass, denied by Agnew. <laughs> How much is pace the key tonight as Agnew searching and has Great a step. Read. Mary Gadeka with one. Gadeka. <laughs> The school record, 43 points for the fifth-year senior in her final home game. Outstanding.